There we go, I'm back. So now to figure out the amount of time between two strums, it's a consistent speed that doesn't really add anything to the width of the frame rate. The hubble did play a role there. Since I used the hubble, you have to ignore that. So yeah. The actual NPS limit that would be at 60 FPS at full speed, at, uh, at full emulation speed, I mean, would be different if I was to play at 60 FPS because it, it is a time limit between two inputs and you can only register an input on a frame, which means they do have an impact. But they are not exactly the NPS limit, which makes it really hard to tell, honestly. There is a lot of stuff to look again to see if it's actually possible. We'll see one day.